So I call this one Papa Rambo Goes Nuts at a Ref. Uh, this is from Cannon. <laughs> Uh, he didn't say his town, so we're just going to go with Revere, Mass. <laughs> <laughs> Severe. Severe. Even Revere. I know this that's a shithole, like- and I have a hard time keeping track of all these little towns this place has. Uh, so, Ken and I was refing a, ge- a gold medal game at the Bantam Minor Hockey Tournament with two pretty solid teams. About two minutes into the second period, I had a parent screaming about how he was going to kill me. I look over, and he's climbing the glass with a knife <laughs> in his hand. Guy is full-on screaming about how he's going to stab me and kill me and run me over the parking lot. I had kicked out his kid from the game for spitting at another player on <laughs> when he was celebrating after scoring a goal. So clearly it, 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 it stems from the top. It's a right? trickle-down effect. It's a trickle-down uh, yeah. effect. Oh, my God. It's and not then, like he got scored on either. He, he scored. Yeah. Right? He, he, spit he scored on. the goal and spits on the guy. And, uh, you know, and then, it, you know, obviously police were called and all that type of stuff. But... I mean, talk about a guy that needs to be listening to the ring shrinks on the way to the game in the morning. Are you kidding me? Well, I think he needs to listen to some meditation tapes or something. He needs to he needs maybe some breathing exercise. You know what he needs? Put the knife away. No, he needs a skipping rope in the corner. Get it, get his, <laughs> he needs to get that's Maybe that's what, this, what they do. They get you out get their uh, energy. Channel your energy elsewhere. <laughs> that was one of the stories you told last time. Oh, that was a good one. And I call this one, um, the coach gets mill buried in the stands. Uh, this is from... Ontario, and uh, it came from a summer hockey tournament. Um, so it, it, this is from a ref's, ref's perspective again. So coach acting like an idiot, knew, knew shit about hockey. After the second, we had enough of him and tossed him. Uh, the game ends. He opens the door, yells, you know, hey, go, you know. some F yourself. Explicit. Yeah, very, very explicit, talking about the referee's mother, uh, which which is a huge Like Jackie no-go. Moon. Jackie yeah, yeah, yeah. Moon lost it when that happened. Yeah, <laughs> lost his mind. So this is the uh, the referee. I snapped off my bucket, jumped into the stands, and started smashing him. Other parents jumped, jumped in. My partners joined me in the stands. One, bad got, one dad got body slammed and had two vertebrae broke in his back. The guy I went after, pretty sure, ate from a straw for a few weeks. To top it off, the arena attendant trying to break up the fight was my dad. <laughs> hey, the ref sounds like a complete lunatic. Ooh, yeah, he's no, a psycho. So he's a, he's, he's a like lunatic. the bar bouncer guy who got like taken away from being the bar bouncer because he was too much of a snap show, and yeah. he was like just waiting for <laughs> one like, of these you're fucking breaking co- customers' jaws at an alarming rate. Yeah. Please stop. But I, I mean, it's hilarious because all these guys like. I mean, know who you're messing with, first of all, but it's like you're in a rink. Like, enjoy the game with your kids, right? Like, it's these yeah. people are out of control, and, and hopefully they, you know, they can start tuning into the rink shrinks and learn, like, hey, it's only a game. Like, this is a summer tournament game. Like, guys, they're in shorts and a T-shirt. They probably got a cookout going outside afterwards. Like, just chill out. Like, enjoy it. You Same know? dudes playing the march instead of Target for having to wear a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs>